Welcome to the PLT podcast, Demi and Francesca, everyone. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was the intro we're here for, guys. How are you both doing? You look amazing. Thanks. Yeah, we're doing really well, thank you. You look so lovely. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, first of all, I've got to say congratulations because... I feel like the entire internet and everyone here at PLT especially are obsessed with you two right now. How does that feel? (laughs) It's just really cute, I think. Like the little fan accounts that we have are just so sweet and they like make these all these collages for us and all these videos and it's just so cute. They're called they're called Fremmy. Fremmy. That's for Frankie and Demi, which is actually really cool. It's cute, it has a nice ring to it. Yeah. Wait, I should have completely introduced you as Fremmy. I was gonna say Fremmy for the rest of it. I love it. It actually sounds it reminds me of like a yogurt. From me, like from <laughs> yogurt. Yeah. yeah, and yogurt's nice. We all like yogurt, so I think it's a great <laughs> so vegan yogurt for this one. <laughs> That's it, vegan. Definitely, we'll go for a vegan option for sure. <laughs> now, guys, it seems everything seems to have happened so quickly with you two. You've kind of just blown up as this couple, and obviously, the past few months have just been crazy for you. So, take me to kind of where you guys first began. When did you first meet? Um, well, we technically first met on Instagram because. I saw Francesca on the Explore page, thought that she was the right salt. And so I slid into the DMs and then you replied, didn't you, babe? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how we like properly started getting talking. And then we spoke Mm -hmm. for about a month. Yeah, it was over Christmas. So I was at home with my family and so was she. So we had a lot of free time to just like text from morning to night. Yeah. She would stay up till like 5 a.m. texting me because of the time change and I would try to wake up and stay up so I could talk to her. And then we started FaceTiming and I knew I was going to Mexico um, a few weeks later and she was in Dubai. So I was like, come on over, <laughs> let's go. So yeah. flew her out and then the rest is history, I guess. Yeah, she was literally like, come to Mexico and meet me. And obviously I was nervous because I'd never met her before. And mm. we was like talking over the internet. So I was like, what am I going to do? Like, am I going to actually fly to Mexico by myself and meet this girl I've never met? Like, it just all was crazy. But in my head, it felt like in my heart and my head, it felt like the right thing to do. Your it mo- sounds so romantic. Yeah, her mom thought that I was going to be like a catfish. Mom yeah, was like, Are my you mom sure was she's like, real? my mom was like, make sure that she's real. Like you're flying over to Mexico to meet this person you've just met on social media. But fair play to her. Like all my friends were saying the same thing as well. They was like, you're crazy. Don't do that. That's so dangerous. And I was like, I know, guys, but honestly, I just feel like this girl, like me and this girl, have got so much in common. Like I have to go meet her. And look where you are now. Like, honestly, that is actually such a romantic story. Like, how long ago was it that you first started chatting on Instagram? Was that like last year? December. It was in December. Yeah, yeah it was so Oh, quick. December. Okay, Christmas. Christmas, Christmas yeah. yeah, over Christmas. Wow. And like, how was Mexico? So obviously you said though, it was, it's quite a nerve wracking thing going to meet someone who you have never actually met in person. So it was kind of a huge deal for the both of you. <laughs> how was your time in Mexico? I mean, the Instagram pics looked insane. Oh, it was beautiful. It was really romantic. Yeah. We it, had some really nice dates. It was honestly one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited. And like, I never ever thought, oh, like, I really want to go to Mexico. But when I got there, it was mm. just unreal. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And like the bars and the and like the beaches is just so pretty. And it was mm-hmm. like you set up a few romantic things as well, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. A lot of romantic things. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <Mister> romantic <laughs> over here. <laughs> tell me, tell me about your first date because like we saw so many romantic, amazing things on Instagram and TikTok, but tell me about that first date because that must have been quite special for you guys. What was the first date? Would That's that be when you asked me to be your girlfriend? Yeah. <gasps> Come on, let's hear it all. Let's just go into the full detail, start to finish, please. You can tell it. Oh, oh, you're getting shy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it was like the third day that I'd been there. Yeah. We moved pretty quick. We moved very, very fast. Um, <laughs> it was the third day that I'd been there. And she said, you know, I've got like um, this dinner booked for me and you, surprise. And I, I sort of had an inkling, but I didn't think you was going to do it. Um, and then she took me to this like, private it was like a private restaurant on a beach weren't it Mm. and then we was walking along towards the sea and I could just see like I could just see in like the future that there was like a little table and then there was all like petals and I was thinking what does that say on the ground and then as we got close it said girlfriend with a question mark and I was like oh my god I literally I couldn't stop laughing at the giggle I'd like nervous giggles (laughs) and I couldn't speak and then she was getting like really shy because you were giggling and I was like I was like, that, like, does she like it? Like, I, was so, I was so nervous leading up to it. I was like shaking. I was like trying to walk and I thought she thought I was being weird. I was like, 
Yeah, we were both so nervous. (laughs) We both had heels on and we was that walking along the beach. Yeah, in the Mm -hmm. sun. So hard. So hard to do. That was like one of the most nerve wracking days. That and the day you landed was like one of the most nerve wracking days of like my life. Like today. Like I was so nervous. Really? Tell me tell me about that day. Like tell me about the day that that Demi landed. Like what were you what were the things going through your mind, Francesca? Um, I was freaking out the entire weekend. Like I was like heavy breathing heavy breathing I didn't know what to do I was like pacing around the house my friends were like it's gonna be fine I was like do I kiss her right away do I wait like what do I do like all those things I was so I'm like do I hold her hand like how do I hug her like do I I didn't know what to do I wanted to make sure everything was perfect I wanted to get roses I wanted to make sure everything was like nice for her when she landed because she flew like 25 hours and I was literally like I ended up having to do like a few shots of tequila because I was so nervous I could my heart was like pounding like I just didn't know what to do but right when she landed and she got there like the nerves kind of calmed and I was like this is so she she literally ran you ran straight up to me didn't didn't you and basically like put her arms around me and give me a kiss straight away didn't you pulled down her mask and she pulled down my mask (laughs) give me a kiss I wasn't expecting it at all I was like oh okay but like obviously it was like a happy like yeah so yeah it was really really sweet and then she gave me this big bouquet of like red roses which were beautiful and yeah I was just so happy you seem like you are definitely the romantic type, Francesca. Yeah, I think so. She is. <laughs> like I say, it seems like an absolute whirlwind and a, a bit of a fairy tale, really. And I know that, Demi, people have been kind of questioning how quick things are moving, especially yeah. how mm-hmm. we recently that was mentioned. How do you guys feel about being questioned about that? Um, I think... I've, girls move yeah. quicker in general. Mm. Yeah, like... Yeah. like um, like not to sound weird, but like gay relationships are known for like moving quicker. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, mm-hmm. but it's just like stereotypical, isn't mm-hmm. it? Like as soon as like two girls meet, like they'll be in a relationship within the first week. Like, yeah. I'm not really sure why that is, but I just think girls get more obsessed with each other mm-hmm. and you just skip like the whole, like obviously we had a month of talking stage before we met. Yeah. But yeah. then as soon as we met, we, we just skipped. All yeah. Of, like, we didn't like have like the other. dating stage. We kind yeah. of talked and then moved in together right away. Yeah. And like and haven't, <laughs> have, the only time we were separated was when she she left Mexico before me like a week mm. before me because she had to quarantine before filming and I left like a week later but that was the only time we had a part yeah we met and that so. must have been hard that time apart wasn't it yeah it was just stressful I was like going through a lot to get here because of like mm. the lockdown and my dog and she was like quarantining so but it was nice when I arrived and yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Do you know what? Sorry, I feel like I feel like girls are so like I know as a girl, like we're so emotional and so like mm. we speak about our feelings. And maybe that's like, like that that's a thing about, you know, why why girls kind of move quickly. I think if it feels right to you, go for it. Mm, and yeah. you're obviously both you're clearly both so happy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I got her name tattooed in my butt like the first week we met. Literally <laughs> within the first week. I think it was like <laughs> Let- six days in. Tell me <laughs> about those tattoos. I've I've seen the videos. I'm excited to know more. Well, well <laughs> from the day that I met Francesca, she just kept saying, I really want to get your name tattooed on me. I really want to do it. Like, I love you so much. I really want to get tattooed, like, of you and me. So I was just, I just thought she was, like, bluffing. Do you know what I mean? I, I didn't think she was being serious. And then this one specific day, we was at, like, a beach bar. And she was like, I want to do it today. So then we, like, went into a tattoo shop, didn't we? And you ended up um, getting it done in my handwriting. Yeah, she she wrote it out yeah. like 30 times and then I picked like a cute one with a little heart <laughs> yeah. on the eye and then and then I felt left out so I was like I want to get your initial like put on my body and then you was fighting me for like 20 minutes weren't you she was like no I'm not letting you do it she doesn't have any tattoos so this was her very first tattoo yeah. so I was like I think you need to think about it like for me like I have a few so I was like, I for sure wanted to do it. And I was thinking about it for like a week up to that. But for her, she, she doesn't have any. I was like, I feel bad. Like, I don't want you to regret anything. Like, are you sure? Because she wanted to get in her hand. And she's like, I'm doing it. So <laughs> Yeah, but oh my God, how bad was Because you was trying to do the F, weren't you? I was doing the F like all squiggly. And she was like, no, do it like I'm this. So but it ended Frances- up cute. I was like, Francesca, you do realize this has got to be on my body for the rest of my life. So please, can you actually take this serious? Because the F <laughs> that she was doing look, didn't even look like an F. And, I, and then in the end, I drew an F and was like, can you just copy that F? And then, <laughs> and then she did. And it's worked out all right. Oh, it looks gorgeous. I can't believe it's your first tattoo. I didn't realize. Right? I know. So cute. It's Keela making me do it <laughs> do you know what tequila is a great thing but you know it's such a cute dainty tattoo as well I feel like it's a lovely first tattoo and it obviously means a lot to you both yeah so you know what it, that's all that matters really isn't it yeah 100% I don't regret it at yeah. all yeah me neither I love mine yeah I like mine. mine's so cute I wish mine was like more visible what you wish it was before 
We no, like, was... I wish like my butt was out more so I could show people. <laughs> no, keep we need to get to <laughs> we need to get to summer. We need to get back to summer, back in them bikinis, back in the mm-hmm. swimwear, babes. And yeah. you know what? We'll see it all the time then. That's what we need, some good weather. But you guys have even said on a Q&A recently that you can see yourselves, I think it was on Instagram, that you can see yourselves getting married. Tell me about that. Do you think that's going to be coming anytime soon? Um, you can answer this one, babe. Um, yeah, like, I think it depends on lockdown and mm. we need to, like, we're moving into a new place on Monday, which yeah. is going to be really nice. Hopefully we're going to move back to Essex, aren't we? Because mm-hmm. um, I missed Essex life. Oh, this is interesting, guys. Yeah, but yeah. We, we definitely don't want like any lockdown weddings because that's like not a vibe. No. It needs to be like post pandemic. The first thing I said to her was, "We need like literally the very first thing I ever said to you. I was like, we need a post pandemic wedding in Italy on a yeah. vineyard." Yeah, yeah. yeah so you I did. feel like we need to like go all out. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. The first conversation we ever had in the DMs was about a wedding. <laughs> I actually asked her to marry me as my first question. That's my first message. <laughs> and she just went along with it, which was great. Um, but yeah, we have spoke about it. Obviously, we've only been actually together for two months. So I think, mm. um, I don't know. It's up to you really, isn't it? You Why said is it up to me? Because you said you were going to do the proposing. <laughs> yeah. So mm. it's up to Francesca. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So Francesca, is proposing being like a big thing to you? Have you kind of wanted to do this? I while? never really thought about doing it myself until I met her mm. so but like right when I met her I was like it, it's gonna be me like I need to do it like, it yeah. needs to be I already know how I'm gonna do it I've thought about it a few times so like, yeah she's, she's not gonna see it coming honestly I can't wait for I can't wait for this proposal I mean let's get locked down over with and let's see this happen because like I say everyone's rooting for you guys so I know whatever it's going to be you're very romantic as we've said so it's going to be an amazing proposal I cannot wait yeah have you you planned sorry go on no no carry on I just know Francesca and I just know that she'll go like she'll do something really really nice and romantic and big um because like I literally knew you you for not that long and you asked me to be your girlfriend in the most perfect way so I just know Mm. like your proposal would be like 10 times like bigger and more romantic so I already like I'm dre- like can't like picture what the wedding is gonna look like as well like the proposal is gonna be massive what is the wedding gonna be like have you started planning like talking about what you guys want you mentioned Italy there no no we haven't yeah we literally ha- oh do you want to get married in Italy that'd be fun okay yeah, yeah. I would back that to be like honest. a vineyard yeah of the hill yeah nice lace Romy can run down roses. the rings yeah definitely yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Romy's her dog by the way we're obsessed with Romy this is the thing let's go into you've you've moved it's been literally a couple of months and you've moved over to London Francesca we've said it's been a huge move but not only have you come over you've come with your makeup artist and your dog which <laughs> again everybody on the internet is just obsessed with your whole entire family I think you've, you've built a family guys I'm obsessed yeah I know. I'm, I'm, I've literally got like a pack of Canadians living with me in London at the moment. I've not just took one on, I've took all three of them on. But they are literally, they're lovely. Romy's a little bit of a barker, but other than that, he's a lovely dog. And Chris is just amazing as well. So it's been really nice living with all three of them. And Francesca's all right. <laughs> you can just kind of put up with Francesca. How yeah. is it going for you, Francesca? Coming from, from Canada, how is it like the transition coming over to England? Um, the only thing that's been hard has been the jet lag. We still mm. kind of haven't gotten, we've been here for two weeks, but we kind of still haven't gotten over it. It's still hard to wake up early. We've been here for four weeks. Four weeks? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be four weeks in, it'll be a month in like five days that I've been yeah. here. That's crazy. But yeah, we wow. haven't, we're, we're still like, we stay up pretty late. We wake up pretty late. So that's the only thing. Like, other than that, we were in lockdown for like 10 days when we first got here. And then mm. when we moved, we're in like downtown London right now. Um We've just been like waking up and shooting content. So I haven't really experienced like it just, it feels like the I'm in, yeah, vibe. it feels like I'm in Harry Potter. When I look around, I'm like, it looks like we're in Harry <laughs> Potter. And I realize like I'm the one with the accent now. Yeah. Because for me, everyone else has an accent, but now I'm like, okay, mm. it's me who has the accent. But other than that, I haven't really experienced much of the culture because again, everything's closed, but mm. I haven't met our family. That was really sweet. Yeah. Tell me about the family. Let, let's tell me about that introduction. That must have been a big thing for you both. Um, you actually met my sister Chloe in Mexico, didn't you? Yeah. And my nan and my cousin Francesca. You actually met them, most of them in um, Mexico. Yeah. So that everyone's was nice. been really sweet and really yeah. welcoming, and they're all like super friendly. They're like my family, like very like open and nice yeah. and like welcoming. Yeah. Tonight. No, they all really like Francesca. I think she's a sweetheart. 
I can completely believe that. Like, how couldn't you? But Francesca, what do your family think? So obviously you're all the way over in England. What do they think about your move to England and everything? I think my family's kind of used to me being a little bit more of a wild card. So they weren't surprised. They were like, okay, like it wasn't surprising to them that I would like take a big step like this. But my family's Mm. been super sweet, super accepting. She also met my sister and my sister's boyfriend and she met all of my closest friends in Mexico as well. And they loved her. They're like, mm-hmm. they like her more than they like me at this point. Like my sister is, <laughs> every time I'm on the phone with my sister, they're like, she's like, where's my bestie? Like they're like so close. <laughs> so it's just been like a very easy transition. Everyone okay. meshes really well together. Everyone gets along. There wasn't like any arguments. Like it was just, it like flowed perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a smooth side, side mm-hmm. inside. Yeah. Side, side. I love that. I love that. And you said before, obviously, you're not kind of getting to experience the UK. Because we're in lockdown, we're going through this whole pandemic still. How is it moving in with someone during quarantine? Because you're literally probably spending every single second of the day together. Yeah, we are. I mean, yeah. I feel like we spent every second of the day together in Mexico, so it doesn't really feel any different. Yeah, it's like, it's like you know when people go into Love Island and they say, mm. because you live with that person since mm-hmm. the day you met them, like you feel like yeah. you're, you're in yeah. such an intense relationship and you get to know that person like 10 times more. That's how I feel with you. Mm-hmm. I feel like I've got to know you like as as yourself, like on a deeper level, yeah. like so much more because I've spent like every minute since the day I met you. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like, like she's seen like my absolute worst and my absolute best, all my moods, like <laughs> everything, like the spectrum of like who I am, like she's seen it all and she like, yeah. Yeah, and you've seen me as well, so, yeah. It's maybe actually quite a benefit, like, this whole kind of lockdown experience. I know, obviously, you guys were in Mexico and, like, you've come back here, but being able to spend that much time with each other, you know, you've learned so much about each other so quickly that I can kind of see why things have moved so fast because I completely appreciate it. I mean, I, I agree with you there, that kind of Love Island experience, you know, being with someone um, day in and day out, when you're apart from them, wow, that feels like a lot. That must feel like a lot. So I can completely understand yeah. that. Yeah, because usually I feel like it takes people like two years to get to where we're at right now. Yeah. Mm. Like the amount of time we've spent together, because, like literally 24-7, yeah. seven, seven days a week for like the past two months. Yeah, because usually you just go on a date like for a few hours, a few times a week and get mm-hmm. to know someone that way. But That's we've it. literally lived in each other's pockets for like two months now. You're lucky. What's, what's, <laughs> you look at, you are, you're both so lucky. What's the best thing about living with each, with each other right now? Constant um, cuddles. Yeah, I was just about to say that, like all the affection, like I'm so affectionate, so I just jump on you. Yeah, the, the cuddles, going, going to sleep with someone, waking up with someone. Yeah, mm. like I went to sleep last night, like two hours before Francesca and I literally couldn't sleep without you She came bed. back out and she was like, yeah, I came back out on the sofa and jumped and I was like, I can't sleep without you next to me. <laughs> Babes, honestly, we love to see it. Now, Francesca, you've also said that you, we were talking before a little bit off air, that you're a bit of a Manchester girl at heart. So tell me about this. I need to know what what's going on with the Manchester vibes. I want to know. Um, I don't know. I think, well, I just like the word Manchester. <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. And I've Manchester. seen I, I, the, a lot of people that I follow on TikTok that are from Manchester are just like such a vibe. They're like very blunt and very funny and have like <laughs> thick accents and they do their makeup really nice. And like, I just want, really wanted to be a Manchester girl and like explore and like mm. do the makeup and like fully immerse myself in being a Manchester mm. girl. <laughs> Big question. Francesca, do you think you can do a Manchester accent? No. <laughs> Go on. I'm like the worst with the. A- <laughs> Go on. Do you know what a Manchester accent is? It's like thick, like thick. like. Is that Manchester? Manchester girl. Yeah, that was all right. That was actually all right. <laughs> I'll take that, guys. Is everyone taking that in the room? Like, I'm having that. You, you can be a Manchester girl with us any day. Have you ever actually been to Manchester? This is my first time in London. So wait, so so in the UK entirely, mm-hmm. your first time. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, so. Demi Francesca, when lockdown's over, yeah. get a date in the diary. You've got to get to PLTHQ in Manchester. Oh, we need to we need to party. We need yeah. to go out. We need to show you around and really introduce you to Manchester so you can become that Manchester girl <laughs> yes. that you are at heart. <laughs> Manchester's got the best nightlife ever. It is such a good night. Like yeah. honestly, the nights out. I cannot wait. I know that we're all going through the same thing right now. Like I can't wait to get back to that normal, and being able to go out for food. What are you guys most looking forward to doing as a couple um, when I we're all out of this? I wanted to show Francesca Manchester Pride as well because she's never been to a Pride. Mm. Um, so hopefully, if that's running this year, I'm definitely going to take you there. 
100%. I think it is actually running. I think obviously like there's things are like confirming right now, but like obviously we've just got to wait and see, but 100%. That is such an amazing like weekend. You will have the best time. Yeah. I'm excited to like meet more of your friends yeah. and like just, mm. just go to brunch. Oh, brunches. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait for a brunch. I want to take Literally, you to London. Like, just that the brunches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like rooftop bars, like just nice things like that. Shop in Oxford Street. Have you ever heard of Oxford Street mm-hmm. before? You never no. heard of it. Mm-mm. There is so many exciting things to do, babes. Like honestly, you're it, it's gonna be wild. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited for you both. And that's it. I this it. I think we've all like missed all of these big things. But for you coming over to the UK, I can't wait for you to get to know it properly, Francesca. It's yeah. gonna be very exciting. Just like, I think it's just one more month and then Yeah, pretty much. Um is yeah. it April when things are opening up a little bit April. more? April. I think beer gardens in my yeah. head I'm like beer gardens yeah. in April. So that's the first one. Let's get that outdoor bar sorted. We'll have some drinks. And then yeah, I think it start everything else starts opening up like the month yeah. after with that. Yeah, so. yeah, that's so exciting. Can't wait, honestly. And Demi, obviously you are known from being on the Omi Ways Essex on Towie. Yeah. And I know a lot of people are asking, you know, you're moving to you're moving to Essex. Mm-hmm. Will Francesca, will you be joining at all on um, Towie Tour? Well, you just have to wait and see, won't you? <laughs> guys, I feel like that's a little bit of a spoiler. That's a little bit of a spoiler. So how, how do you guys feel about that possibility, let's call it? Um, you can't give too much away. I didn't, yeah. I didn't really know what Towie... So the reason I knew what Towie was... Well, when I posted that... I posted a TikTok. I duetted her mm. TikTok um, when we first started talking. And all these comments were saying, oh, are you going to go on Towie? Oh my God, Francesca on Towie. And I was like, <laughs> I have no idea what that is. So I Googled it. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I like... Me and my friends were trying to like find videos of her on it and like creep it and like see what it is. But I still, <laughs> I watched one episode the other day. Yeah, but I, I didn't really there. understand the concept mm. of it or like what it was until like pretty recently. Yeah, we watched, mm. um, so we've just literally been, we've been filming and the mm. first episode came out last Sunday. So I watched that with Chris and Francesca, but she, you couldn't understand anyone, could you? There were scenes that I would like watch and I was like listening and then... <laughs> they would be like 10 minutes long and at the end I'm like I heard two words <laughs> like something yeah, about just... a girl being mugged off I'm like they they didn't know off? what the word mugged mugged off meant. Yeah, we didn't you have got so much to teach them Demi I honestly know. there's a lot to learn about the Essex the Essex language yeah. Yeah. They d- they'd never even heard of salt before I still I mean, don't really don't know what that means salt means you that sort yourself you're so sexy. that's it that's you're it sexy, yeah, yeah. Yourself. it's a good word it's a good word it's there's good being yeah assault. there's so much slang and like if people if you guys were having a conversation and i was trying to listen i probably wouldn't understand half of it well we look forward to seeing what's coming up next for Tawi. i know that everybody listening is going to be absolutely buzzing over the possibility that francesca might be joining we look forward to that but apart from that have you got any exciting projects coming up as a couple soon um have we got anything coming up i think not like projects specifically but we're yeah we're moving into like yeah we're moving into an actual apartment hopefully like a steady apartment so at the moment we're just like in airbnbs aren't we mm-hmm. so yeah oh right okay we're gonna get like a proper apartment together in essex so obviously getting furniture for that will be like a project for us while mm. we're like doing it up and stuff so yeah. that'll be nice we look forward to the content content in a new home with furniture you've chosen i know that's gonna be mm-hmm. that's gonna be really good yeah so and this is nice. It's essentially, I think I saw on one of your Instagram, it's like the fourth, your fourth home in a way, isn't it? Yeah. yeah We've been like bouncing around. Yeah. We were going to stay here longer, but the landlord's weird and we were going to go there. <laughs> but like, it's going to feel nice to like finally move and like know so that we're going to mm. be there for a while that we can like unpack and like it'll feel like home. We can like yeah. make it our own. Yeah. And it'll just, it'll just be nice to have somewhere st- like sturdy. Yeah. Like, um, and in Essex as well, because we haven't lived in Essex properly yet, have we? Mm-hmm. So that would be so nice that to be around. Well, if things start lifting to be around like my friends and my family. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. And Francesca, you'll be getting used to that Essex accent, mm-hmm. babes. Oh, I'm used to it. <laughs> I notice myself saying things. Like, I'm calling people love a lot. I'm like... <laughs> That's definitely a UK them. thing, isn't it? Love. Yeah. I love that. You're right, love. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to go on to a and a So we have got some questions here. It's a quick fire Q&A. And I'm just going to... I'm going to throw the questions out. You know Whoever it. got... You'll know the answers. So it's going to be either... From whoever you think that person is, Francesca or Demi. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go. Who is the most romantic? 
me. This is like your TikTok. You've actually done a TikTok. Yeah, we yeah. did. <laughs> it just came into my mind. We're like, wearing, I've watched this. We were wearing a little thing in that TikTok yeah, we actually had as well. Matching, matching TikToks. Yeah. We, need, we need to get that posted. Guy. I'll let the guys know. Don't you worry. Okay, where were we there? Who is the most spontaneous? Me, I think. Yeah, I would say you. Yeah. You, you are spontaneous, but I think if you were to compare both, it would probably be me. You're just a little bit more wild than me, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> who showed interest in the other person first i think we we spoke about this demi it's demi yeah. slid into those dms mm-hmm. <laughs> made the first move thank god <laughs> i don't think i know the answer to this one who said i love you first demi mm-hmm. romantic it was really I cute it. i literally bawled my eyes out good friends just started crying wait tell us tell us how that <laughs> happened i'm gonna have to pause the q a Right, so basically, um, it was within the first week again. The first, <laughs> the first week was a very heavy week, you know. And we was on a night out. I think it was like the fifth or sixth day, maybe. Yeah, sixth day. Yeah, sixth day that we'd like been together in Mexico. And I was going to do something really cute to tell her that I loved her, but it just slipped out of my mouth when we was in the cab because we was both just looking at each other like this, weren't we, for like mm-hmm. for like a few minutes, and then like it, I just was like, I think I'm in love with you, and then you was like, I love you too. And then I was crying for like an hour. I was like running around the streets. Oh she was God. literally running down the street crying. It was so funny. But you obviously we better mate because she didn't want me to see her crying. Oh. <laughs> Babes, honestly, the whole story is is so romantic. I honestly can't cope with you two. Um, so the next question is, what is your favorite thing about one another? Demi, I'm going to go with you first. Um, I've always said your teeth. I don't know why. I just think she has the most adorable little smile ever. That's a great compliment. Yeah. What, what about you? Um, I feel like there's too many things to name. I like how affectionate you are. I like that you're funny and you're loving and you're caring and you're trustworthy and you're forgiving. And you're just like, well, yeah, like all the above. I think, Everything. I think them things about you too. It's not just your teeth. I think <laughs> a lot of things about Just you. to confirm, it's not just the teeth that have sealed the deal, okay? I think maybe I really like your style as well because I can steal her clothes. Yeah, That's been great. Wears, wears we're the same. Always we're the same her, her feet are a little bit bigger, but other than that, we're basically <laughs> the same size. So my Instagram content's just been getting nicer and nicer because I'm stealing her clothes. <laughs> that is literally the ideal situation. I love it. Okay, and Fran, what would you say Demi? Fran, what would Demi say is your most annoying habit? Uh, maybe my drinking. Um, it doesn't annoy me that much. I like to have a drink every now and then. But I'm a good drunk, at least. Yeah, you're not, no, you're funny when you're drunk. Yeah. You're actually very funny when you actually <laughs> like it sometimes when you better drink. Because you just, you just start being a bit like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> Francesca, yeah. do you have an annoying? Do, do does Demi have an annoying habit? It doesn't have to be annoying. I guess we all have these habits that when you move in together, you kind of learn a little bit more about a person. Go I on, think. Be truthful. I Go think on. it's the. It's, you don't have a sense of urgency. Yeah, I'm really laid back. <laughs> yeah, that's good though, because Francesca, you quite opposite. Are you quite? Yeah. What's the word? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Like I'm not nice because I'm not like crazy urgent, but like mm. in certain situations, yeah. And she's just like, la, yeah. La, 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 and I'm she's like, a, like today when yeah. I was trying to ring Starbucks to tell him if they could like do something with the orders, she you wanted to speak to him, didn't you? Yeah, she doesn't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I trusted her to set up the podcast up. I was like, yeah. I'm proud. I was like, wow, you did it. <laughs> you did it so well. You did a great job. I f- like I say, I think that kind of it bal- It's a nice balance when someone's a little bit more laid back. We do balance each other out for sure. That yeah. is always a great quality in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I love that. Okay. Who takes the longest getting ready? No. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you not I do not take the longest do getting not ready. Lie. You okay, and Chris so took forever this if, morning. Uh, Sorry, Chris, Chris does my hair Sorry. and makeup. Hi, Chris. Oh, he can't hi. hear. He's got headphones in. They said hi. Oh, he's going to come over and say hello. Come on. Come and say hi. hi. Hello, Chris. <laughs> hi, darling. I'm Natalie. Nice to meet you. She you can't no. hear me, can you? Yeah. She died. He she can't hear you. Nice to meet you well, too. Well, we, <laughs> lovely to meet you. We have got Chris, the MUA, mm-hmm. the glam squad on the sofa for a second there. Lovely to meet him virtually. <laughs> but no, if I do my own hair and makeup, it takes me like 20 minutes. Yeah, like, but that's I'm not, so I've quick. only ever seen you do that once. I've only ever done it a few times. <laughs> but <laughs> you take pretty long to get ready. No, I feel like sometimes. Like, but yeah. that's because she's usually singing or I come in, she has like half her makeup on, she's texting. It's like you like just take your time. Yeah, because okay. I'm, again, chilled. I'm chilled. Yeah. 
But mm. Francesca's got like Francesca's in the perfect position because she can be on her phone while someone's doing her mm-hmm. like um, makeup, so she can get everything sorted. Mm. Like, yeah, I can work. While yeah, I'm she can work. Makeup, whereas yeah. like I'm like like in between multitasking. Like, yeah, mm. I'm like trying to do everything. <laughs> like, yeah. so it just takes me a little bit longer. Yeah, I would die without Chris here. Literally. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. That is literally the dream. That is every person's like dream, honestly. And who takes the most photos? You both obviously got fire content on Instagram. Who takes the most photos? Definitely me. Her hundred percent. Yeah. You take um, about five different pictures a day. Some, if I'm doing a content day, I'll want to get like six different photo sets. But mm-hmm. that's really good though. I think you've got mm. re- you've got really good motivation. Like really good mm. motivation. I feel like if you're getting your makeup done as well. You can't waste that. It's like, yeah, let's get those different outfits. Let's get the most out of this face. And now I I have double the wardrobe. So it's like, (laughs) double the clothes. Tick, tick, (laughs) tick. Okay. And who spends the most time on their phones? Interesting one. (laughs) Yeah, you know. It's me because I, as well, like being here, like I'm working as much as I can. Mm. And I Mm. solely work from my phone. So I'm doing like my label and then I'm doing stuff for Pretty Little Thing or I'm doing my other stuff so I'm like constantly working and yeah. texting but I'm never like the only time I ever scroll on like Instagram or TikTok is like before bed yeah like throughout the day I mean if I'm editing or working I'm never like scrolling yeah it's I, just yeah yeah night. yeah you're always working to be honest I just try not to be on my phone as much as possible but obviously mm. I have to there work. was like six days in Mexico where my phone broke I didn't have a phone at all oh, that was like, oh, six wow. days so nice I was using her phone and Chris's phone for my Instagram and I was like other I didn't that, have a phone. I did not have a phone. It was great. We spent so much time It was together. so nice. Was that in the first week? It was like the second the week. The second yeah. week. Yeah, I really got to know you that week, I think. Mm-hmm. It must feel like so crazy because that's the thing. Like I can I completely appreciate that obviously you're on your phone, but you're working. So you have to be on your phone. So it's kind yeah. of, it is difficult to step away from it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. Okay. I feel like we're getting to know a lot about you guys. Now we've got two more questions left. Francesca, what's the one thing you are most looking forward to doing when we come out of lockdown? (laughs) Probably like just getting a little tipsy with mimosas on a patio with Mm. your friends. Yeah, Mm. Yeah. 100%. Meeting her friend group, getting to know her more. Like, because I feel like you learn a lot about someone when you meet their friends as well. Yeah, 100%. So she spent like a month with, a month, more than a month, like Mm -hmm. a month and a half with all my friends, but I haven't really got the chance to do that with her. So I'm excited to like, just immerse myself, be a Manchester girl and like see the sights and be a true Manchester girl. I'm so excited (laughs) to involve you in that part of my life, Mm -hmm. you know, like with my friends in that. It may, it's like you say, it makes such a huge difference. It's like opening you into that next part, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. And it is, I guess it's hard not being able to do that straight away because it is kind of something you want to do. So Demi, is that kind of the same answer for you? Yeah, like a hundred percent. Like I just want to be able to like um, have Francesca more involved with like my family and my friends and like involving in that part of my life because I'm really close mm. to my friends and family. I'm one of them kind of girls, you know, like that goes yeah. out at the weekends with like them and stuff like that. So it'll be so much nicer when like we can all chill together and like get to know each other and have mm. a bit of a laugh. So at the moment, I feel like Francesca's like stuck with me and Chris. I feel I feel a bit bad for her sometimes, but no, I love it. I feel bad for you. <laughs> You're stuck with us. Yeah, but I love you. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for her to meet some more people. Well, you look like you're literally having the best time ever. And honestly, guys, we cannot wait to see what happens next for you too. we We're going to be watching like the whole world is right now on Instagram and TikTok. We are going to be following and seeing what happens with you guys. I can't wait to see what happens in the next few months. Good luck with everything you've got coming Thank up. You. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for joining us today. This has been so much fun. Hopefully, like I say, we're going to crown you a full Manchester girl. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Get on down here. We'll take you out. PLT style and yeah. Yeah. it'll be amazing. I saw that. Um, I saw Molly made on a TikTok in PLT warehouse. So like, I think mm. we should do a similar one. Yeah. Come on down. Come on down to the headquarters. There's mm-hmm. so many, like you can see the unicorns behind me here. Mm-hmm. It is crazy. There's palm yeah. trees. There's nice palm trees. So you'll feel like you're back in Mexico. I've been to the one in LA and that it was vibe. so Same. Beautiful. I went to that one as yeah. well. It was sick, weren't it? The LA one is actually mm. gorgeous. So yeah, if you're ever over there, make sure you pop in. But guys, it's been so amazing chatting to you both today. Thank so you so excited. much. This was so much fun. Next. Yeah, this yeah, has been so too. much fun. Thank you so much. Ah, thank <laughs> you so much. It's been amazing to everybody listening. Thanks so much for joining us today on PLT Behind Closed Doors. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave us a little review. And as always, subscribe. Demi and Francesca, you've been the best. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. <laughs>